What's going on, guys? Just met up with my buddy Julian from Fish in the Tropics. What's up, guys? I mean, from uh, Bite the Bay Fishing. I'm used to saying my own intro, sorry. Bite the Bay Fishing, that's Julian right there. What's up, guys? And uh, we're at a new lake that we find out from one of our buddies. And uh, we're going to see if we get some uh, whatever bites, really. But uh, we're going to do a little tackle box challenge once again. Mystery tackle box versus LTB. And um, yeah, we'll get back to you when we get some fish. All right, guys, I just saw two peacocks on a bed right here, which I don't see anymore. I don't know where they went, but I got this little, um, small little no-name no uh, jig head with a storm swim bait on the back. I'm going to throw it in front of their face, and hopefully they'll hit it. Oh, man. There you go, Kazum. Little baby. All right, guys. It's Jose here for Fishing the Tropics, fishing with uh, Julian from Bite the Bay Fishing. And uh, as he said, we're gonna do a little um, a little challenge: MTB versus LTB. So I'm gonna open up the LTB box right now, and I'm gonna explain to you guys what lures came in it. So let's get started. Okay, um, this is uh, the Biwa, I think that's the way you pronounce it. It's a uh, Ultra Hog, 3 inch. It says it, it has a, a scented formula, I guess so that the, the bass won't let go, you know. Check it out. Alright, we got... Um, right here, we got an Olympic Tackle. It's a five inch multi-jointed swim bait. So, um, you know, it dives down, good uh, live action, and it works well in lakes and ponds, which is what we're gonna be doing today. Then we got the Fishing Sidekicks uh, Wacky Weedless Rig. These are basically, you know, just uh, real long worms. They got a um, scent release that says up to 12 hours. So I'm guessing this will be good on the bottom, just like you would use a regular worm. Then we got, uh, I guess, let me see. Oh, I think we got, um, we got the Mustad Ultra Point Hooks, size six. I mean, uh, size eight, it comes with six of them. These are real good to, I guess, replace on your crankbaits or your jerk baits, whatever. And then uh, last but not least, we have a Cyclone Baits, uh, Silver Eagle spinner bait with a Mustad hook on it. You guys obviously know what the spinner bait's good for. It's good for low light conditions. And um, yeah, not good for today, so. But yeah, we're going to test them all out, try and get a fish on each one, and uh, we'll be back with some action once we get Come some. On. Oh, they just up. Nah, 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 nah. Almost hooked them. Now Julian's going to go, I'm copy go. my lead, follow my lead, and try to hook up, yeah, and pretend like he's the one that invented it. A little cheater that he is. Hey. I'm going to show you guys how to do it, alright? So they're giving me uh, jointed baits. These are garbage unless you live in California or something. If any of you guys have luck on there, though, let me know. I don't like these jointed baits. Unless it's just one joint, but 20 different joints in a bait, I'm not into that. There you go, Papa. Alright, Jose just hooked up, guys, on that bream. Got a nice little peacock bass. Let's throw them in before I lose them. Yeah, bring them in. Watch out. There, that was a catch. That was a catch. What, what do you mean, give it him? It's in the ground. It was on the ground and everything. That's it. One bait gone. All right, guys. One bait gone. Got a bunch of them. 
on that bream, the multi-jointed... Uh, I gotta see the name again, I forgot the name of this company. Pretty nice right there, has some nice colors on it. And that came in the Lucky Tackle Box, so 1-0, Lucky Tackle Box up. There you go, Papa. Second bait on. tackle box right now. He's half the way to his slam. Good job, dude. Thank Let's you, Bubba. On. That's on that little that little hog. I forgot the exact name, but we'll give it to you guys in a little bit. Little hog. Little June bug colored hog with a jig head on it. Got a nice peacock bass. Let me see. Sweet looking peacock bass, dude. All right, guys. We're going to go with this cyclone. I think it's called the Silver Eagle Spinner Bait. See if we can get on this bad boy right now. See if he misses or he gets it. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of grass. That's what I'm getting. That's the problem with that. Is that a suspending? Yeah, it sinks. So you should just let it sink before you even start twitching it so you don't get the grass. Hit it one more time. Boom. You got him. You got him. <laughs> I got to get the foot. I wasn't trying to get smacked by that thing. I, I brought him up. Because I was like, Ain't yeah, yeah, this one. yeah. Good job, buddy. I got my third lure, spinning bait. It's not a good day to throw spinning bait, but we'll see what happens. There you go, Papa. That's large mouth, though. There you go, third bait. That's a decent large mouth. Look how many are coming in, cuz. Oh, no, peacocks. All right, that's a decent large mouth, too. Caught it on that spinner bait, guys. Well, maybe it wasn't such a bad thing you to use. Guys on that nice oh man, hey, look how I hooked him. Counts anyway, but look. He swiped at it, but Do that's that not a bad large one. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Got hit. Check out that large mouth, guys. Jose caught on the spinner bait. Look at that. That's a nice large mouth right there. Good job, Jose. Is my is my thing flashing still? Yep. All right, guys, what I went ahead and did is I took off the weight, and I'm going to use this um, this worm just like a jerk bait. So it's probably going to work. I Hopefully it does, and it, that'll be the end of the slam. Yeah, but it's going to be hard to get him anyway. There you go, guys. Jose just hooked up. I got the big one. Let's see if he brings it in. That's the slam. Oh my god, he's guy. pulling he's like worm. Oh, he just that worm out Let's get him up, cuz. That's a big old peacock bag. Yeah, weigh him. Might be four something. That's the lucky tackle box slam. Congratulations. Look how he was hooked, Chris. Look at yeah. that. Look at that peacock bass, guys. Jose just hooked up. Show it to the camera, buddy. Look at that guy. <laughs> no, he cut the shit out of Damn. This one, this one, this one of these Amazon monsters. Look at that, guys. That's at least four pounds, if not more. Solid peacock bass action. Look at that. Yeah, he cut the shit out of me. He caught him on that earthworm. Is my camera rolling? Yep. That's a lucky tackle box slam, Check guys. Check it out, guys. Last bait, the earthworm. <laughs> Let's see what he's baiting, yeah. Last bait. Sweet. Biggest fish of the day. He cut the shit out of me, but we got the slam done, and we're going to weigh his ass. It's probably going to be four something. Eh? Alright guys, uh, we just finished the uh, 
Lucky Tackle Box versus the Mystery Tackle Box Challenge. Me and uh, Julian from Bite the Bait Fishing. Make sure you guys go check out my channel, Bite yeah. the Bait Fishing. Bite the Bait Fishing. Um, what's that called? So yeah, I finished the the slam. He got two out of four baits. Yep. We got a couple peacocks, a couple large mouths. You guys will see it in the beginning of the video, but solid action. Man. All in all, it was it was a super good day. Really hot, but that's what it is down here in uh in South Florida, Miami. Yeah, summertime now. It's uh it's approaching. We're at the end of May. It's whew, high sure. 90s, high humidity. Yeah. You know, so you need to use a lot of sunscreen and uh, yeah. and get ready to get hot out here. But it was a cool one. Jose uh, did really good today with the Lucky Tackle Box. You got that slam. Like he said, I got two on the on the Mystery Tackle Box. A lot of fun. We got a nice variety of fish. And we're pretty much all fished out now. Yeah, know, I'm so done. That was awesome. Ready I'm to done chill. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> go chill, relax, drink some water. And yeah, guys. So catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, tight lines, baby. See you guys next time.